sun let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home Chasing all that we do not care Chasing all that we don't have Chasing all that we do not care We do not all the way With regard to the ergonomics of the driving position it's not great. Again, it's an old classic 911. All the adjustment is from your seating position. So if you haven't got your seating set up correctly or if you can't get it set up correctly, then it's not going to be very comfortable. And also, as I talked about in my earlier videos um, in the series, linked to those below, you're at a twist because this is designed, this, the, the 993-911 is designed to be a left-hand drive car, predominantly a left-hand drive car. So moving the pedal box to the right hand side, um, they've had to put uh, the pedal box slightly to the left, which means your hips are slightly to the left angle. You won't be able to make it out and you get used to it very quickly or it causes problems in your back and you can't drive it. But uh, it's not such a problem, but it is an, uh, it is a, an artifact of a 993. And there's no adjustment for an aft or up and down with regards to the steering wheel. So you've got to get all your adjustment in your seating position. And obviously that is finite. So if you can't get your seating position correct, then you know, you're going to be uncomfortable in the car. I'm six foot one, all my length is in my legs. So I'm actually okay. I would like to be a little bit higher in the car. I can't really raise the seat up any higher than I have at the moment without buggering up all the other adjustments. Um, so you, you know, you accept it. It's all of it tends to be always a compromise with the old air called 911s in your seating position. Much like driving the early Italian cars as well, they were always a compromise as well. You're always fixed in, in, a, in an Italian driving position. So, it, it is a very unique experience driving this car. And it's very special whenever I get in the car. Why? Well, because I don't drive it regularly. Because I like to keep it in the condition that it's in and I like to keep the mileage low. It's a high value car on an agreed value with the insurance it gets valued every two years for the agreed value on the insurance and I like to keep it that way I like to keep it to that standard of condition you hit a bump you feel it <laughs> UK roads aren't the best but um, it's a sports car at the end of the day and I, and I feel that this is the last of the proper 911 sports cars the new cars now will from really from the 997 maybe not the 997 but Possibly from the 996, but definitely from the 991 onwards. They're Grand Tourers. Same with the Ferraris. They're Grand Tourers now. The modern Ferraris are Grand Tourers. The, um, they don't make sports cars anymore, and that's because that's what the market demands. It's what people want, apparently. I'm speaking to the Porsche managers and to, um, and to the Ferrari managers. That's what people, that's where the market is. Um, therefore, obviously, the market, the customer requirements and customer expectations and sales drive the market. Ferrari and Porsche will uh, Porsche will make cars for their customers. So if the customers want Grand Tourers, that's what they give them. To my mind, they're far too big and far too wide. I'll never have a modern Porsche. But uh, that's what people want nowadays. However, you do get some people who move into a a 997 or a 991 or a 992 and they sell them because it doesn't give them the driving experience that they were hoping for and they sell them and they go back to either a 993 or a 964 commonly they try and get hold of a 993 obviously nowadays they'll have to pay all the money to get into a 993 because they're very expensive to get a good quality one if you get a cheap 993 almost certainly you're going to be into possibly two five definitely above two grand but pro probably two to five thousand pounds to upgrade the suspension because that's how much it is and because 993s are high value cars now Porsche have increased the, the parts the cost of the parts um, they class classic Porsche parts and in effect what that means is Porsche increased the price of them it's their way of increasing the price so we've driven up into the quaint little town of Marlborough which is just a few miles up the road from where I live in Wiltshire it's a beautiful little town 
It's very quiet today because it's a bank holiday Monday. Um, so there's not as much traffic, although it's still quite a bit of traffic because still a lot of people come into Marlborough on a bank holiday. As you can see, looking across at the cars, the 993 doesn't look out of place. And if, if anything, it adds something to the village, having a beautiful classic car like the 993 in a lovely quaint old village, Wiltshire village like Marlborough. We've uh, stopped here to try and get a coffee. Um, did a little b-roll, um, but unfortunately we couldn't get a coffee, not yet anyway. So we're going to have another drive around to see if we can get a coffee. So I talked earlier in one of my other videos about the short shift upgrade that this car's had with Goldenrod. It does make a lot of difference. Um, I haven't driven the car very much with the new short shift kit, but it's very direct. The gear change is very direct. It was quite direct before, being, being a 993 you get that with, um, with the, very much an agricultural connection with the car as people say or very mechanical or should say mechanical not agricultural very mechanical engagement with the car but having a short shift kit on there you can really feel the selectors the selector shaft you can really feel the selector shafts engage the gears it's, um, it's a good feeling it adds to the to the driving experience of 993 we've got a bit of an open stretch of the road now so just open the car up a little bit system is engaged previous to 5,000 revs which increases and, and improves induction. I talked about the varia ram in one of my earlier videos so please see the earlier videos below to have more details on the varia ram system but in effect it changes the induction quite substantially previous to 5,000. There's, there's three different stages. The varia ram covers two of those stages which is pre-5,000 rpm, increases the inlet length and after 5000 reduces it so it takes it back to a standard resonance chamber and then around 5800 there's another configuration change um, where, the, where the resonance change uh, where the resonance chamber is reconfigured again via via a valve which changes the changes the state of the resonance chamber changes the size of the resonance chamber when you put together a 3.6 air cooled engine with 35 years of engineering to advance to the stage that it is the 3.6 engine in the 993 being the last of that air-cooled engineering, um, being, being the last of the air-cooled engineering, therefore the, the end of the 35 years of engineering. And you have engineering such as Varia Ram included in the pack, then it provides for quite a spirited drive, even for a 22-year-old car. brakes upgrades. Not that there was any problem with the standard brakes, but this also has the RS 
brakes upgrade which gives you a very impressive braking capability. So we're going to close out the video now guys. The light's getting bad. We're still on the outskirts of Marlborough. We're actually at the Marlborough Gallops. This is where horses are trained. So this is a training section for horses. So I'm a collector of wristwatches and so my channel also does reviews uh, and will do more reviews on my wristwatch collection. So we do a wristwatch check today. Today I'm wearing the Breitling 806 1959 reissue. This has the B09 movement. As I say, the light's getting bad now, um, so we don't want to leave it until we get back. So we'll close the video out now. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share the video amongst all your friends. And I notice also that around circa 70, 75% of my viewers aren't actually subscribed, so please make sure you subscribe. It's very important for the channel so that I can grow the channel and move forward with the channel. And also, please make sure that you share the, the video among your friends. and. Thanks a lot for watching guys again and see you in the next video.